Today, I'm building a ski resort in Blocksburg. This is after popular requests by you guys at home. And also, it's the perfect time of season. Behind me is the outline. And I tried to, like, organize it on Instagram. Oh, yeah. At the end, all of you guys are invited in to come and look around. We need to name it. Snowing, slippery, ski resort. Totally safe, guys. <laughs> Right. We have many things to do, but the first one I want to do is the sledding ramp. I haven't built one of these in Yonks. The last time I built it is when I trapped all of you guys last year. Let's see if I can play a similar prank today, shall we? Right now, this just looks like a cardboard box or something. But once I've added these stairs in, as you can see, that's one big staircase. That's the staircase to heaven. I wonder if I'll go to heaven. Probably not with these building skills. Now, although I do want to trap you all in my creepy ski basement, I do also want to keep you safe. We're going to add these railings. And this is very accurate to real life. They have the most rickety railings going. I was like, are you trying to kill all your passengers? We can also use that new wooden texture. I do need to be careful with my words. I keep saying skiing when it's actually technically a sled resort. The Blocksburg doesn't have skis. We have sleds. And I don't know why it says it's for babies and kids. Like, you want to send your baby down a sled? It would perish. Over here is going to be like the VIP sleds. This is the one that Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, the celebrities use. And then the rest are just going to be average. And with a click of my fingers, I've swapped out the colors. Although I did keep this one. Doesn't it kind of look like Nutella spread, which is like half and half? And just before we add the ramp, we need to add a lifeguard up here. Is it called a lifeguard on a ski ramp, do you think? Let's see who it's going to be. <laughs> ah, this is our lifeguard. This is the guy from Hello Neighbor. Why does he look so familiar to me? You. Guys, this is Rob. He is the security guard. He's even holding a donut next up. We need to add the floors which the ramps are going to go on. And this kind of looks like a nice, like, chocolate waterfall. I honestly think it works much better with the short, snappy ones. This is where we're going to be turning into snow because you don't sled off of wood. You get splinters. Wow, I really did these floors inaccurate. There we go. If you're asking me, how is all that snow floating? I, I don't know. To make it not float, I guess we're just gonna add a bunch of material. And Jesus! How expensive was that? I had a million! How has that actually cost me so much? And then just to make sure I don't get any lawsuits, like people flying off the edge, we've obviously got to add some railings. So I actually don't know if I even remember how to build a trap. It's been such a long time. <laughs> this is gonna be so funny! And we all know the texture that a creepy basement has to be. Russ! Now we've got to add discrete lighting down here. So maybe some candy canes. It's Christmas. There's nothing scarier than a nutcracker. <laughs> and you know what actually are quite scary? Reindeers. Because what if they like storm you? I forgot we had snowmobiles. Could do like a, a snow racetrack in the next video. Can add some blood on the floor. When you fall down, you're going to fall down onto these big spikes, guys. Let's see about adding these carpets, shall we? Because a lot of people will figure out that this is a trap. So we've got to make it look as real as pos. I cannot wait to test that out with all you guys later. Just before we move on to the entry, though, I'm thinking, why don't we add a bunch of these pine trees. I used to think these were big, but they're actually kind of small in comparison to this. Ooh, that's kind of small. And I suppose these trees can just act as the fence. Anyway, I get distracted so easily. Let's go to the entryway! It is such a vibe when halfway connects to the Blocksburg Street. And then here are basically going to be our winter cabins, which invite you in to the ski resort. Normally, I might use the titanium, but there's not really much to, like, steal from this place, so I'm just going to use wood. And I'm going to try and make this cabin roof pretty bougie. I've just gone mental, mental chicken oriental, but it does look nice. And on the front here, we can have the name. Apparently, our ski resort is called Hope Your Holiday Season A Breath of Fresh. What amazing name. <laughs> yeah, I could only find a quote, guys. I feel like it is missing like a, a bit of flavor. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? So just to add that final flourish, I'm going to add chimneys. And that fits the bill for grand entrance. Just before we do the inside of them, we need to fill in the rest of the front, which just happens to be where you're going to park your cars. Can we talk? Talk about the new pickup truck. It is so Lana Del Rey, I just can't even describe it. I really want to add one. We don't want to run out of money too early, so it looks like just a bunch of sports cars today. We are going to have a little walk-by path as well. This obviously, it's a pay-to-entry. We don't want any scam artists trying to scam me out my dollar. Did you see what I did there? It's a scam. So, to avoid that, we're going to add some 
fences. And I really wanted to add some glittery bushes as well in like this little gap. But as you can see, they're a little bit low to peep out. So I'm going to be a bit of a fixer upper and just add some basic cubes. Now we can add these glitter bug bushes at full height. For that final level of security, we'll add a actual fence, which only staff members are allowed to go through. Do we have ice statues in the game? Are you kidding me? A thousand dollars for this tiny piece of crap? Oh, sorry. I spoke too soon. I spoke far too soon. I love you. I love it. Video over. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'm joking, but this is so cool. We still need to do the inside of it. Placing these windows because we're now a drive through McDonald's. No, I'm joking, but these kind of look like ticket booths, so I like to add them. I want to add bins. You call it a trash can. I'm sorry. Because when you enter places like this, you always have to, like, give in, like, any restricted items. So we will add some fairy lights. Inside, we will have the counters, and I might actually make them islands. Because now they actually have some, like, knee room under the desk. Some pencils, maybe even a full-blown Christmas tree out the back. If you have any restricted items, they'll be put back here into boxes and trash bags, so you can definitely get them at the end. Sorry, I don't know why I'm spending so long on this. It's literally the entryway. And these doors are actually perfect because they can lead back into that staff-only entryway. Now, to help my brain, I'm gonna put in all the paths. And Loki think we should become Dorothy and make it a yellow brick road, except it's a blue brick road. And oh, I like the shine on that. Wow! So I actually need to go look at my rubbish diagram off Instagram again. Let's do the cafe next. Lots of you guys really wanted me to make a bakery anyway, so it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. I feel like we have to make this roof cool as well. We've set ourselves high standards. Beautiful. I'm obsessed with the idea of having all these cabins, each of which is like a different thing. I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. The reason I made this gap is because I really wanted to have some of these reef pillars. What a beautiful view. I like the view. The windows inside are actually looking really cool. And we're going full out with the decks on this one. I'm talking candy cane string lights. Outside, we're probably gonna have just the typical, you guessed it, restaurant table. And it's been a hot minute since I've built any sort of like booth, so hopefully these are heated seats because this is making me feel cold even just looking at it. That felt better. So we're going for kind of like a chic look in this place. It's gonna be also a bar, so we should definitely add some nice stools. Sometimes I forget to just turn my brightness up. I was like, why is Bloxburg so dark? And then my brightness is on like zero. I've also added a plaid rug, again with the staff entrances, but leaving us room for the kitchen. And once again, I've forgotten a place for the fridge. I honestly, when it comes to fridges, my mind comes to a block. I love getting a nice fruit smoothie, so I'll have a couple of blenders. Probably a lot of people are gonna be wanting their tea and coffee. <laughs> Did I almost just buy a coffee machine when I have 20? What the hell is this? Finally, some menus. Voila! From above, can I just say this looks stunning? But we're also well over halfway through now. The next thing I'm interested in doing is the ice skating rink, which is obviously going to be this big blob in the middle. I don't know what I'm trying to do here, like make a cool snowflake pattern, but I don't know if you can really call this a uh, snowflake. We've got the base down. We actually need to go in and get out the ice skating slabs, slippery bits, whatever they're called. Now I'm going to try my best to make sure every bit has a slippery slab on it. Everything is so expensive these days. Inflation really hit Bloxburg, didn't it? But the one in town is honestly something that we should all be jealous of. I wanted to actually try and build that. If I take out the middle one for a moment, no, all I'm going to do is place like an archway thing and you'll see it will look hopefully good in a minute. Okay, that actually doesn't look too shabby wabby. Not too shabby, eh? What's this random chandelier doing here? Get out of here. Over here was meant to be the landing area, but since we obviously already had that built in with the trap, I guess we can just make it a sitting area for the pair. Parents. My mum would never let me go on these things unless she could sit and watch and take her pictures. Which, so lean into her pairs, so cute. which I suppose is actually kind of cute. And how bland this part is over here is annoying me. So I'm just going to add some string lights to spruce up a bit. Now over here we have the practice sledding. So this is going to be a mini sledging ramp. This is probably going to be for the noobs like me. When I went skiing for the first time, guys, it did not end well. I'm not even joking. I highly recommend getting training before doing any sort of skiing. This is our little one. We don't really really need Rob down here, although I do want him. And for the practice sledding bit, we're just going to have the simple donut and we'll make it longer as well. So it's a bit more shorter, less steep. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. And that can also not just be the practice one, but like the one for babies. 
trees and stuff. We have three little bits left. This has actually gone so quick. Over here is actually going to be kind of a mysterious building. And this is based off a show I watched called Dynasty. I don't know if any of you guys would have watched it. You might have seen the character Fallon. Basically, there was an episode where they went to this amazing ski resort. I'm going to try and rebuild the cabin because it was honestly so cozy. And honestly, it's just a big sleigh. Windows kind of have to be huge because it's such a big room. I like them big. And by the way, guys, the literal purpose of this room is not anything crazy. It's literally going to be just when you're getting a little bit too cold on the ski resort and you just need to have a little mm. wind down. And the best part about this is we're going to be able to add so many big Christmas trees in here. In the middle, we're going to have these big, chunky carpets. It's going to be kind of an individual community area. So there'll be a couple of different lounge rooms. Since I'm English, I do actually go for afternoon tea quite a lot. And this really looks like the place I go for afternoon tea. I'm so random. On the front, I want this giant illuminated wreath and even a $12,000 chandelier. That is so cozy. Over here is going to be the briefing room. Well, other than our last room to do on this build, basically going to be the room where just before you go the sledding, you are going to have to go and get a brief. It's basically where they're going to be telling you all the safety precautions, what to do, and more importantly, what not to do. So this is going to be the big screen. Then we can just finish it off with some more Christmas trees. And the last thing we have is the toilet, which I very quickly sped Bill. All that's left to do is add these trees and oh! Lots of you guys are already here. I need to hurry up with these trees. And that's really finished off. My true Reese's ski resort has been built. And oh, I'm stuck in a tree. So the value of this place is 777,000. So very angelic and Christmas vibes. And oh my gosh, there's an angel behind me. Very smelly angel. From above, this place looks insane. Everything came together in this to create such a beautiful place. So let's do the tour with all of my friends. Hey guys. Out of the front, we obviously have the car park, but everybody is eager to just go inside. If we go in, this is where you would check in. Can we get some staff in here, please? Hello. Can I have 500 tickets, please, little lady? The first thing you get to feast your eyes on is the ice skating rink. And oh my gosh, there's different little things you can do. Oh my gosh, I am winning dancing on ice. But I just love the view you get as you walk in. I like the view. Isn't it so magical? Oh my gosh, I can already see people stuck in here. <laughs> if we go to the left, we have the cafe. So this is where we're turning into Chef Gordon Ramsay. Get out of the way. No, I'm joking. It's more like a bakery. So me and all the people can come in here and we can... What's actually on the menu? Hot cocoa and tea and coffee. Is that it? What are these ovens for? I want a freshly baked pie. So now we know we want to go sledding, but we have to go and practice first. And wow, this guy's got the moves. So our instructor, Rob, is up at the top here. Hi, Rob. Just a little one. <gasps> Whoosh! Easy peasy. I think I'm ready for the big guns. All right, scary guys going over there, but we've got to first have our brief. Oh, this is a good brief. This is definitely relevant to skiing right now. Okay, I think I understand. I think I understand. And come on in, guys. Don't worry, we'll open this up for you. It's scary walking up this rickety plank. Ah! Once you get to the top, you're basically free to do whatever you want. And oh my gosh, Rob actually scared me. Merry Christmas. Have a nice time with your fam. You as well, lady with the ear muff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh. oh no. Oh my gosh. That lady's crushed the reindeer. But no, that is basically the sled. It's really fun. And obviously people can watch you at the end. A lot of people are smelling and asking me where the bath is. So if you guys want to wash, the toilets are over here. That is the ma that's the majority of the ski resort. The one room we have left, which is perfect to go to at the end is the chillax room after a very cold cold day out so there we have it guys that was my ice skating resort thanks to everybody who came around to look at it with me thanks to everyone who watched it and i'll see you all in the next one bye